Canada is on fire. Raging wildfires burning in many provinces across the country has brought plumes of smoke that have covered the skies in major cities like Toronto, New York, and many other cities, leading many people to ask the question, what is going on? Hey, it's BG and thanks for watching. We're gonna get into that question, but before we do, we need you to do a few things, like subscribe to this channel, tap the notification bell, click the like button, don't forget to comment below and share this video. Now, it's no secret that wildfires are not uncommon in Canada. In fact, in some cases, when controlled, they're actually good for the vegetation. But this year, it feels like the wildfires are out of control, raging even more intense than ever. Why is that? Well, we're gonna speak to one expert who's gonna answer that question. Let's bring him in. Jan Boulanger, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. A lot of people are wondering and talking about these wildfires. We know that it's made international news. Can you explain to us, how did these wildfires start? So there is a lot of uh, currently uh, lightning caused fire that are raging in most part of Quebec, for example. In other part of the of the country, uh, for example, in the month of May, there were a lot of uh, human caused fire in uh, in Alberta. You know, these these uh, human caused fire are pretty common in the in the spring and especially uh, around the towns because there's a lot of people, of course, that can start those fires accidentally, for example. It feels though that this year the fires look so much more intense. So why are they out of control? So this year uh, we had very, very warm temperature in uh, the month of May for most of the central and northern part of the country. Some places where we had less than 50% of the precipitation during the month of May. So the vegetation was bone dry, actually, when the English this uh, came in as either human cause or, or lightning. And for now, we are currently standing at 5.3 million hectares that are uh, that have burned uh, already this year in Canada. And we are just at the beginning of the fire season yet. So we can expect much more area burn if the conditions are still conducive for the rest of the fire season. Wow. I mean, it begs the question, what is the root cause of this? We've heard politicians and activists attribute this to climate crisis. Is this because of the climate crisis? We know that because of climate change, of course, temperature are rising. So it's it gets more, it gets warmer, it get it gets drier. And because of that, we know that since the last, uh, well, let's say 70 years, we know that the annual area burn in Canada is increasing a lot. Actually, it has already doubled since the, the late 50s, 60s. And we project with the further increase in temperature and the, uh, the dry conditions in Canada that we will see another doubling or maybe four times the, uh, the area burn that we have uh, observed since the last uh, 30 years. It could get worse in the future. So at what point would people in your profession say these bigger, larger, more intense wildfires are caused by the climate crisis? This season, I mean, the, the severity of the season could be 90% attributable to, to climate change. Wow. So that's, that's quite a lot. I mean, you're the guy tracking all of this. You're tracking the numbers, you're tracking the sizes. You know what is happening T for T, detail for detail. Do you get nervous when you see how bad it's getting? At some point, I would say yes, because uh, the impacts of climate change on fire are very severe, and the, the impact of fire itself uh, caused by climate change could be very severe in the ecosystem that we know today. The ecosystem is quite resilient to those big high frequency of fire, but if it gets too frequent, too severe, I mean, the, the, the ecosystem, for example, would not be resilient to those changes, and that's where the, the changes to the ecosystem could be very, uh, very important. So is that like the, the the smoke and the yellow haze that we saw in Toronto and New York? Are you saying we could see more of that this year, potentially? We could expect that the rest of the fire season also might be very severe. So those small plumes that you uh, that you saw elsewhere could also happen uh, in the in the rest of the summer. Wow. Not every day, of course, but some days it could happen. Could also happen in the in the next coming years for sure. So what can we do? as individuals? The first thing to do is, of course, to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions, so mm -hmm. to have less warming and so less uh, fire activity. And uh, as an individual, of course, there's a lot of fires that are actually caused by human. You know, in, in Canada, there's, there are some fire ban when the fire danger is very high, so we have to respect those, those fire ban. And you know, it, it, 
it works actually because the you know, number of human caused fire is decreasing in Canada. Mm. So that's that's a good point, and probably because that prevention is actually working at some point. So we have to be very very careful, and this summer especially because the conditions will be very very conducive for fire. Yeah, and thank you so much for your time and for uh, your insights on this. Let's hope Canada stops burning. Hey, it's BG, and I want to know. What do you think about what you just watched? Make sure to drop your thoughts in the comments below, but also make sure to check out even more great content like this video and this video over here. And if you haven't subscribed to The Branding Gona Show, do so right now by clicking this button right here.